it's on mute. It's on it's on mute, and I don't understand what the no the mute button's here. Okay, so we're good. We're good. I'm trying to get the HUD to work. Oh uh, yeah, get that.
I need it. That's tough. That's been really tough. That is tough. It's unmuted already. Yeah, apparently when the red light is on, it's unmuted. That makes perfect sense. Either way, sorry about that. Mike's been muted this entire time. But at least you have casting for game three. So far in this series, we've had Nichols College with all of the assets, all of the tools, all of the ideas, just not quite able to apply them in the right places. But thankfully, Nichols College is going to start off on the offense so far. That's what you want to see this early into the series, but that's a very risky touch from K-Frost. And was that Pyros, I think, was able to bat it away. That was a phenomenal touch. Ball was three-fourths into the net. Cleared it out like it was nothing, though. Started the transitional play. Pyros, beautiful lob into the corner. Aki, almost a filthy shot on net. But, oh no, K-Frost... Getting the bumps, but there was almost no one back home to save the ball. Thankfully, someone was in the area. Puller in an awkward place, but he's going to be able to take control like he normally is able to. Beautiful first 50. Leaves it for K-Frost, who's going to bang it down. Lion Blaze taking control. Gets it past one, but Pyros is there. But unfortunately, Zanil able to get a pretty beautiful pass to Lion Blaze, who wasn't able to turn it into much. The pressure is starting to amount on Nichols College. They need to break out. They need to take control. Just like this, Puller, 10 steps ahead of the cast. That's why we brought him here. He is a genius within Rocket League. And just like that, his positioning is perfect. Puller really can do it all. We just watched him in the last 10 seconds show his phenomenal ball control and then immediately rotate exactly to where he needed to be to put it right where Pyros wanted, or no, Pyros just had a really good angle on that. Camera panned to him last second, so I almost second guess myself he scored that goal, but K-Frost able to dip it into the corner. Nichols College up 1-0. This is a very good start to game three. You need to start one goal at a time, but you can't let off the gas either because, well, you only need to score one to win a game. It feels better to score three because they have two more games after this. They need to keep the momentum. They need to build as much as they can because every single game they win is going to be one step towards getting back to a best of one. But so far, Nichols College... Showing that they can take control of the game still. And I'm loving watching Dan really step up here. Northwood going to bang the ball back to Nichols. Pyros looking for someone mid, but no one was able to quite get there. Pyros taking control once again. Unfortunately, the ball gets a little too far away from him, but that's okay. K-Frost passes it over to Puller. He's able to bang it over to Pyros, but... Lion Blaze able to read the play a little bit faster. K-Frost, great control. This is the exact play we need to see from our guys if they're going to control this game. They can't keep banging the balls away like they were, kind of were games one and two. But they're starting to become more composed. You can see in their play, they're starting to become more confident. They're not getting suffocated at all anymore. They're starting to really apply the pressure more than Northwood really can. Nichols College... Looking like they could score on any of these ball touches, but unfortunately, Northwood able to bring it back together and escape that dangerous situation. Oh no, that was terrifying. It looked like Polar might have got, or not Polar, Pyros got a little stuck on the goalpost there. Disaster almost strikes for Nichols College, but they're able to weave it away. Very Stay composed. But Northwood still looking to... Amounts of pressure themselves bury this game away in three because just like for Nichols College, the pressure really goes up for both teams every single game the series goes on. Because you lose game three after going up 2-0, you start to really second guess it. Like, you start knowing that, hey, we lose this game. We're one game away from getting reverse swept. And if anything can kill a team's mental, it's that. And Nichols College trying to add some 
security to be able to get those thoughts into Northwood's head, but wasn't quite able to get anything done. Daniil puts it over the Hawk. Hockey playing it through the corner. Straight to line blaze, but K Frost beautifully able to get it behind the play. K Frost looking for the touch mid. Nothing there. Just really covering the ground. K Frost now. Space in the air. This is dangerous, but Hockey going to bang it away. Line blaze putting it off the sidewall to the Neil. He's going to kind of give it to Puller. What can Puller do with it? Chasing it down on the ground. Going to go for a forced 50, but Northwood pretty beautifully able to send that away. But nonetheless, Nichols College able to take game three. They are down 2-1 in the series, but they're now only two up wins away from taking Northwood <clears throat> their very first CRL match. Let me remind the crowd since I was saying this muted, but Nichols College has not played a CRL match in their career. Northwood is one of the most accoladed colleges in CRL. And one of is used with a grain of salt because it's hard to debate that they just aren't. Lion Blaze has seen a lot on in the CRL scene. Hockey's also seen a good amount. And Zanil is the newest addition to this roster. And the Northwood team looks just as daunting as they are any other year. But Nichols College is one of the few teams that truly can compete with them in CRL. They're trying to prove to everybody why that is the case today. Kairos gets beat out, but it wasn't a shot on net. I think he had anything that was on net covered. Lion Blaze plays him too hockey off the corner. He wanted a bump on the wall. Kairos, pretty good 50. K Frost is going to make the. Probably better decision not to turn around for it though. Lion Blaze takes pretty good control, gets around two, going for the third off the crossbar. Well defended by K Frost. Really a team effort. They all forced him high. If you don't let him go under you, everyone forced him high. Eventually, he's going to be too high to be able to put the ball into the back of the net, and they did just that. Made the shot just just enough awkward to be able to. Make it too hard of a shot. And once again, we're just keep on seeing it. They're shadowing really well, but unfortunately, it's not a sustainable way to play defense. It works once. It can work a few times, but you can't keep letting them get these types of shots on net. Eventually, there's too much pressure. No one to defend it. And Northwood able to capitalize on the open net. Although, Nichols College, they've shown that they can score. They've shown that they can take the lead. And they've also shown that they can adjust during this series. So they, we're going to see more of that in game four if we're going to want to see them force a game five. Aki attempts the flip reset, but wasn't able to make it land. Now it's going to be a pretty good opportunity for Nichols College. Drew goes for the fakes, but wasn't able to get around it after it. He did buy a good amount of space to make that look threatening, though. Okay, Frost tries to get over Lion Blaze, but wasn't quite able to. But for the better, they were able to keep possession. Daniil. Able to dodge the bump barely, but bangs it over to Pyros, who's going to have some space. Takes it. Gets a 50 on two. To Puller. Who's going to pass it over to K-Frost. Hockey. A little, one step ahead, was able to read it, but that was a phenomenal shot attempt. K-Frost. Bringing it to the wall. Trying to play it back to Drew, but... Northwood was a little more on it than... Drew is comfortable with going for him. And phenomenal touch by K-Frost. The puller sinks it away. It's going to tie it up in game four. Let's go, boys. Phenomenal shot. Phenomenal play by K-Frost and Puller. Way to be there. Pyros also in the perfect position in case anything did go wrong. Clinical Rocket League to bring it back to ones. Pickoff. Almost goes in Northwood's favor, but... A very clutch bump by Zanil is able to stop anything. And phenomenal save by K-Frost. That was a much harder looking save than it looked. Oh, Lion Blaze is going to pass to Zanil, who has a pretty threatening angle, but wasn't able to do much with it. Puller gets over one, goes for the double, not quite able to get it. That would have been magical if he was able to. And quick passing play coming from Northwood to get downfield quick. Nichols College able to respond to it. 
Akbar. Are they able to relieve the pressure is going to be the question. Kairos brings it to the corner. That's step one. Next is going to be finding an outlet pass and taking pressure for a second. You actually be able to recover on boost and positioning. And while they weren't able to do that, they were able to get it downfield for long enough where they, uh, they were able to get their ground again. And now they're back in a very comfortable position. Bringing it back to the Northwood side of the field where they're able to slowly whittle down the defense. Their goals are to slowly take away boost, get some bumps, get them as awkward as possible. But Northwood knows this. And they're looking for any holes, any missteps, any oversteps from Nichols College. And unfortunately, that's what they found. Tragically, Polar just was third, but... He had a pretty good ball, a pretty good opportunity to turn it into something, but unfortunately, while you're third, it was a little risky, and he just paid for the, taking that risk. Fortunately, we still have a minute 20 to go. A lot of time to be able to turn it back around, tie it up, and even take a lead. Nichols College starting on the offensive. That's going to be an awkward ball for Lion Blaze, but is able to make it look easy. Pyros. <laughs> Under the play, going to wrap third. K Frost looking for a bump, not able to find much. Hopefully, he got back in time. He did. Zanil playing it high. Puller forces it to corner. He's going to be able to fall on it. Ours is going to be there. Hockey's waiting and plays it back into the Nichols College corner. That's going to be rather comfortable for Puller, but Puller, unfortunately, not able to quite get the touch he wanted, so. It's going to put Nichols College back on the defensive. Pyros with the phenomenal double touch to K-Frost. And, oh, tragically, K-Frost not quite able to get there. Ceiling pinch. Man, that was so close. 